morning guys welcome back to the channel and if you're new here this is Jessica with a little white door and in this video we are going to DIY five different kind of ornaments so I get my inspiration from all the beautiful ornaments that you can find in store however sometimes they can be really expensive and also most of the times they are made out of glass and I have cats and you know those videos of cats jumping on trees throwing them on the floor and do all sorts of numbers well those videos are real and you know this year my husband brought home a brand new kit and he actually rescued it from the streets and now the little one is part of the family he lives with us and you know he is growing so it's testing his limits it's testing my limits <laughs> so I decided to play safe so I did my DIYs with clear plastic ornaments however you can definitely do the same with glass if that's what you want I'm gonna leave all the items that I'm using in the description box and yeah without further ado let's jump into the video I begin this project by removing the top lid of the ornament and then I selected two very neutral colors of acrylic paint to set the tone I went with a very light sand and a cream white I started by mixing the sand color with a generous amount of baking soda because I wanted the paint to be brushed on the ornament with quite a bit of texture. There is no particular brushing technique here, I just got the paint on the ornament. And you don't have to worry of making seamless brush strokes, in fact the more the better. As you can see here, I'm even tapping the paint on to add more texture. Once you're done, you're going to set the ornament aside and let it dry. Now that the first coat is dry, we're going to add a second layer and here I am just using the cream white color mixed with baking soda again for texture. In this step, you want to get your paint on the ornament sparsely and making sure to use a brush not overcharged with paint so you can see more of that brush strokes from previously. Tapping the brush on the ornament is also a great way to imprint the acrylic paint enhancing that texture underneath. Once you're happy with the results, you're going to set it aside one more time. This last step is totally optional, but I added a tiny bit of just pure white mixed with baking soda to add a little bit of depth and making this ornament truly looking like it's made out of concrete and give it that extra pop. At this time, you just want to make sure you're only adding the color in little amounts with a barely dipped brush let it dry and this complete the project. I love how these turned out and they are truly a dream for all neutral lovers out there. We are going to begin again by removing the top lid of the ornament and then you want to grab a glass bottle similar to the one I'm using here. For this project we are going to work with glass paint and I'm using the vitriol brown and yellow mixed in with some lightening medium to shear out the colors a little bit. There's no rhyme or reason for the amounts really, it totally depends on your desired amber tone. You'll see I grabbed an amber glass soap dispenser that I own to use as comparison. Find your desired combination, as you can see here, I even added a little bit of crimson to warm up the tone and make it a little bit more true to that amber color I wanted. And it is really important that you work this project on a thick cardboard or something that can cover your working surface because it can be a messy process and these paints dry pretty fast and tends to adhere way too well on any porous material.
Once you have it, you will then pour some of the content into your ornament. And gently you will spin it around in order to coat it all. Then you will leave it upside down in the bottle to drip off the excess and not waste any of it. You can see in this time lapse how much the paint shears out while it dries. After you let the V-trail drip off in the bottle completely, you can use an air dryer to speed up the drying process and these complete the amber glass looking ornament. I am obsessed with these and I made some with green tones as well because I most definitely will use these on my Christmas tree this year. For this project, I'm gearing up properly because when I filmed this, it was really windy and dusty outside and I didn't want to risk any dust to get stuck on my ornaments. We're going to work with spray paint, so if you can, I definitely recommend you to work outdoor instead. You're going to need ornaments with some design and I had these that I bought from Amazon last year. As usual, we're going to remove the top lid of the ornament and in this case, you need to find a way to let the ball rest upside down. So I used a plastic straw and I secured it into an oasis sponge. I wanted my ornaments to lean towards the white color family, but the original color was way too stark so I'm using this matte clamshell spray paint from Krylon. You're going to give it a good shake and with little sprays you're going to cover the entire ornament. You will then let it dry and I only gave it one coat, but you can add a second layer if you missed any areas. After the ornament is dry, it's time for the fun part. I picked some rub and buff and mixed a little bit of gold leaf and antique gold. Then I brushed the details of the ornament, not worrying about being too precise, as we want to give the ornament a little bit of vintage aged look. Take your time and have fun adding your details. Use your best judgment to achieve the desired look and you could choose to be more precise with your detailing and achieve instead a more modern aesthetic. Here I went all out and just followed my personal taste to make this look very vintage. I know I said this for all the ornaments so far, but these must be some of my favorite for sure and I love how they turned out. This project requires several steps, but the result is impressive. I am showing you all the spray paints that I am going to use, but they will also be listed in the description box. You are going to begin by removing the top lid of the ornament, and this time, instead of spraying the paint on the outside, we will spray it inside of the ornament. I started with a few little sprays in different directions with the Rust-Oleum Stone Texture Spray Paint. You want to spin and wiggle the ornament around gently and let the paint spread as unevenly as possible. Then use an air dryer to set it. It's now time to use this Krylon looking glass spray paint in silver. The process is the same, but you want to make sure to get some dripping to add to the mercury glass aged look. Once you're happy with that, go ahead and dry it with an air dryer. Now let's go in with some Krylon Metallic in brass and repeat the process exactly the same way. You're also going to add the Rust-Oleum in aged copper and burnished amber. Make sure to use very light sprays and to angle the spray always in different directions.
Keep drying in between coats and once you're happy with the result, let the ornament dry upside down. This completes the process and you're left with some gorgeous full mercury glass ornaments. This may be the easiest project in this video. All you need is some acrylic paint in your desired color, baking soda and flour. I wanted my ornaments to have some deep and rich tones. So I selected some dark reds, browns, greens and this black licorice. Make your own mixture and then add a little bit of baking soda. Just not as much as in the previous project because we only want the baking soda here to create some density and not to add texture. Once you're done, start coating your ornament. Don't worry about the saturation of the color because we're going to give it a second coat. Your brush strokes don't have to have rhyme or reason and you will just worry about getting the color on there. Just for the sake of the video, I am showing you the process on a different ornament with a variation of colors. Once you're done and you're happy with the color coats, then let it dry. Now that your ornament is dry, you can add a second layer and once that dries too, it's time to work with the flower. Rub it and massage it into the ornament, removing the excess with a dry paper towel. Keep going until some of the texture shows up and until you get sort of a velvety look. You could totally stop here if you wanted, but I then dry sponged some Robin Buff in gold leaf and antique gold. When doing so, just make sure to use very little amounts of Robin Buffs so you have control over how much gold you're using. And you can still see the texture underneath. And this is it for this style too. And I might be boring, but I love how this turned out too. I love the richness of the colors and the moodier vibe. And that's it for the video. Let me know in the comment if you're inspired by these DIYs, which one is your favorite. And don't forget to give a thumbs up to the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a good one and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.